Five Buildings Fighting Climate Change in 2023, Just Tech. Around 68% of people will reside in cities in 2050, according to figures from the UN. They only make up 3% of the area of the globe, but they use 78% of the energy and generate 60% of greenhouse gas emissions. To help countries with their urbanization processes and make cities more livable, inclusive, healthy, resilient, and sustainable, the UN improved the New Urban Agenda in 2016. Developing eco-neighborhoods is an urban project to reduce the environmental impact and change citizens' living habits to make them more responsible for their surroundings. The key to this project is using sustainable technology and materials to construct buildings and other infrastructure. A green or sustainable building may preserve and raise the standard of living in the area where it is situated, thanks to its design and characteristics. Achieving a high efficiency level is necessary, since it minimizes pollution by using less energy, water, and other resources. The LEED accreditation, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, is the generally recognized official designation determining if a structure qualifies as sustainable. Here are the five sustainable buildings that are fighting the climate change and amazing the world. On number one, we have Lankwaike Agriculture Development, LAD, headquarters in Shanghai, China. Many of the world's top technology inventors are increasingly focusing on food security, safety, and agricultural resilience in the face of climate and biodiversity challenges and the growing global population. China's rural population is seeing a revolution due to new artificial intelligence-based technologies that are removing much of the rigor from agricultural work and enhancing the nation's resilience concerning the production of food crops. A showcase for the Agriculture Technology Corporation, the Langkuaike Agriculture Development, LAD, headquarters in Shanghai, is an 11-story terraced office structure that combines sustainable high-tech and low-tech solutions. The system, one of China's greenest, smartest, and most inspiring facilities, is intended to serve as an agricultural oasis in Shanghai's rapidly growing urban area. Its designers hope this building will inspire people to learn more about farming in the 21st century and the innovations being made in this field. The structure, which co-architect ECADI and lead architect MVRDV designed, would have offices and laboratories, an auditorium, an exhibition area, and a retail space. But its most distinguishing feature, a sweeping roof, was thoughtfully planned to provide shade to lush terraces, where many of the organization's technology would be demonstrated. The client's lofty energy goals regarding operational and embodied carbon had to be carefully compared to the site's constraints, which included the need to work with an existing district heating system and the difficulty of finding local wood for the terrace's wood facades. Number two is WeBank Headquarters, Shenzhen, China. The first privately owned digital-only bank in China, WeBank is headquartered in the Qianhai district of Shenzhen. The 31-story, 140,000-square-meter building merges technology, sustainability, and design innovation to further the company's inclusive finance and banking purpose. The new corporate headquarters, scheduled to be finished in 2022, will feature a variety of flexible workspaces, planted terraces and gardens, blended indoor-outdoor spaces, and a variety of high-performance design strategies for a healthy, collaborative, and amenity-rich working environment. The structure is open to the city and incorporates public areas from the neighborhood where it is located into the working environment. The Lingan style, a regional architectural tradition, served as inspiration. At street level, open arcades and courtyards enhance connectedness. The tower's large floor plates and multi-story mixed-mode areas encourage collaboration, information sharing, and adaptation to the changing nature of the workplace. Interior spaces benefit from abundant natural sunlight and ventilation thanks to a series of terraced atria. Third on the list is Return to Form Tower, Denver. Denver, Colorado's River North Arts District is home to the 12-story structure known as Return to Form. Its structural framework is mass wood, a modern building material that uses small diameter trees from sustainably managed forests. 
These woods are developing into a supply of renewable and low-impact building materials through consistent planting and appropriate harvesting. The 2022 Mass Timber Competition Building to Net Zero produced the project, which Trey Birds and the development team won. The structure contains 84 different sized residential units. The City of Denver will consider four of the units to be affordable. Facilities for building occupants include a cafe, lobby, gym, and co-working spaces on the ground floor. The amenities also have on-site parking and a rooftop balcony. The wood panels that comprise the mass timber framework are laminated and glued together. In addition to strength and stability, this also offers fire resistance. Douglas fir from the Pacific Northwest was used to construct the mass timber framework. The walls and ceilings of the structure feature exposed wood. They slide open the big windows. The foundation, stairs, and elevator core are the only parts of the structure made of concrete to limit greenhouse gas emissions. Number 4 is Gulhag Torg The first naturally ventilated office and residential complex in Norway, Gulhag Torg, features a groundbreaking low-energy heating and cooling system. A triple-zero ambition aims to show that buildings may be organically climatized with zero kilowatt-hours of purchased energy. This mixed-use office and residential 16-story skyscraper in the heart of the new Nidalen development will anchor the complex's main plaza and establish itself as a landmark in the neighborhood. The project shows how environmentally friendly buildings can have a site-specific design that satisfies urban and climatic needs, low-tech and low-maintenance, flexible use, and open and transparent. This is accomplished through interdisciplinary design development, where architecture and engineering complement one another. In comparison to mechanically ventilated buildings, naturally climatized buildings will have features such as easier operation and maintenance requirements, longer life cycles, greater floor-to-ceiling heights, improved daylight qualities, design-integrated concept for acoustic regulation, no noise from technical facilities, and a palette of healthy interior cross-ventilation of the spaces. On number 5, we have Noru, Copenhagen. In the former Copenhagen Freeport, PFA is creating a new urban area called Norhaun. Two bridges link Nord to the remainder of Norhau. On the island, roads were built between the structures, and a promenade was constructed along the perimeter of the quay. A circular office structure called Spitsen was constructed at Nord's tip. This magnificent structure, resembling Norhaun silos, is a hallmark of the city. Since 2014, Suico has provided development consulting services to PFA and has worked closely with the developer to design the development of about 55,000 square meters of residential and commercial structures. The requests for proposals over the years for the regional plan and the cleanup of building sites with soil contamination. Environmentally friendly structures use resources wisely, recycle internally, rely on renewable energy sources, use recyclable or biodegradable building materials, and blend in with the surrounding area, especially rural areas. The objectives are to take human health considerations into account and minimize the impact on the environment. To know more about these fascinating sustainable developments, check out our channel, Just Tech.